And the secret's out. In boxing, you ain't gonna beat that training. Welcome to Health and Wellness. I'm Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Today we thought we'd take an in-depth look at boxing, both as an exercise and even as a competitive sport. And we're here at the Bergen County PAL in Hackensack, New Jersey, with boxing trainer Alex Devia. Alex, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. One of the reasons why we wanted to do this show is that so often people exercise, but they get set in their particular exercise. Take them out of their comfort zone, and all of a sudden, they realize that their fitness level might not be what they thought, and I think nothing exemplifies that more than boxing, because it's really using your entire body, right? With boxing, there is no plateau. When you get in a ring with somebody else, you know, that's a whole different workout. We're gonna start off with a drill called machine gun, which is left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. If you're a righty, you want to put your left foot first and your right foot on the back. Punching is all about foundation. You have to be settled in, sit, and when you punch, you want to punch straight. If you punch across your body, you're taking power away from your punch. While you're doing that, you have to breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Here we go. One, two, let's go. Drop. Five push-ups. What you're hitting now is you're hitting your shoulders, you're hitting your triceps, you're hitting your chest. And then you can mix it up. Now, punch it straight up in the air. We're putting gravity in. You think it's easy, but it's not. We're gonna go with uppercuts now. Go! Jumping jacks, go! See, you switch it up all the time. If you keep it the same, you're gonna stay the same. You don't always gotta punch super hard, you know? Especially if you don't know how to punch because you hurt yourself. Time. You wanna punch fast though, depending on what you're looking for. Now if you're a pro boxer, that's a whole different story. Seven, six, one, two, three, four, up. We could do all this just with a pair of five pounders or three pounders, and you just throw them in the air. Turn, squat. We're hitting legs, we're hitting the shoulders, we're hitting the triceps when we're punching, we're hitting the core because we're turning on our punches. We're hitting everything. Yes, we are. As you can see. We're going to take a quick break for a word from our sponsor, and I'm going to grab some water, but stay with us. We are joined here for a special treat with Maureen Shea, who fought for the world title and is a professional boxer and also was Hillary Swank's primary sparring par partner for Million Dollar Baby, right? That's correct. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. This oh, is such a treat. Absolutely. First, tell us how you got into boxing. I started when I was about 19 years old. I walked by, by the grace of God, I walked into the back of the boxing gym. But the reason I walked into the gym was because I was found myself in an abusive relationship. I started hitting the bag and I felt this empowerment. It was incredible. It was uh, this feeling inside of me that I could, I, could, I could fight back, in a sense, without physically fighting this man back. And I could fight for myself. So boxing gave me that um, that ability and that strength. So it's too. really therapeutic. For Absolutely, you, just individually. Oh, it saved my life. Unbelievable. And Absolutely. then you got into it as a profession. Yes. Now you trained with Hillary Swank for her Academy Award-winning role in yes. Million Dollar Baby. What was that like? How many hours did you guys put in together? Well, we trained together for about four or five months. We were together. She was in the gym six days a week. We sparred um, about three or four times a week. And um, it was it was intense for her uh, because I, I didn't hit her obviously hit her hard or anything, but I let her feel the fight by pressuring her in the ring. I was able to give her a piece of me in there, and uh, in hopes that it would inspire her for, in her her role. What's a typical training day like for you? Oh, for me, well, I'm up. I'm a morning person, so I'm up at five in the morning, and I'm on okay. the treadmill by six a.m. or I'm running outside at six a.m. I do about an hour, forty minutes to an hour of cardio, depending what I'm doing that day. What I'm doing sprints, I'll do my ab work, and um, then I give myself about four to five hours rest, and then I come. Here here to, uh, to Hackensack, New Jersey, and I train for about two hours. Two Every hours. day? Every day, six days a week, yeah. What would you tell a woman who would be a little maybe intimidated to come into this type of environment? I would say do it. 
do it. Walk in and do it. Because number one, it's about you. You have to forget about what kind of environment you're walking into, you know, and just go in there and do it for you. And be patient. Because when I first started boxing, I never in a million years thought I would be fighting. Never when I first walked into that gym. This this sport was like a bug that bit me. And then all of a sudden I just you know, I decided to go amateur and fight. And you've been doing it almost ten years? Yeah. Yep. Amazing. Yep. Thanks so much for joining thank us, so Maureen. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Health and Wellness. I'm Dr. Jennifer Ashton at the Bergen County PAL in Hackensack, New Jersey. Until next time, wishing you good health. <laughs>